Hadirin yang saya hormati, kebelakangan ini mahkamah berhadapan dengan kes-kes berprofil tinggi dan melibatkan kepentingan awam. Adalah menjadi lumrah bagi kita para hakim untuk menerima kritikan dan tohmahan daripada pihak yang terkilat dengan keputusan-keputusan mahkamah. Apalagi bagi kes-kes yang berkepentingan awam. Namun, apa yang berlaku dalam beberapa hari ini yang membabitkan tomahan terhadap hakim dan badan kehakiman pada pandangan saya agak keterlaluan. Judges are by no means immune to public criticism and accountability to those they serve. We are all subject to scrutiny. That is why we write judgments so that they can be read, analyzed, discussed, and debated. In fact, the whole system of appeal is based on judges' awareness of their own fallibility. Hence, citizens, including politicians, are, to a certain extent, free to criticize the judiciary. However, that does not mean that it is open to citizens, including politicians, to level unfounded and scurrilous attacks against the judiciary or a particular judge to further their own end. It is important to emphasize that the judiciary is the last, last line of defense in a constitutional democracy and there must never be a suspicion that the judiciary is captured. When the need arises for the judiciary to be criticized, this should be done in a manner that is constructive and does not undermine its independence and public confidence in the judiciary. No one should sow the seeds of doubts among the public concerning the integrity of the judiciary or judges. Walau apapun, saya menyeru, yang arif, yang arif, agar tidak berputus asa dan lemah semangat dalam melaksanakan tugas selaras dengan prinsip undang-undang. Under no circumstances should we falter. The integrity of the justice system and the independence of the judiciary can never be compromised under any circumstances. Come what may, we must remain strong, strong and resilient and be steadfast in upholding the rule of law. Whilst we cannot control the words or actions of some quarters who are bent on tarnishing or destroying the image of the judiciary, it is within our control to ensure that no one meddles in our affairs. In other words, there can be no interference in the judiciary if we, judges, do not allow that to happen. And interference will not happen so long as cases are decided without fear or favor, without ill will or motive, without any external or internal pressure, and without regard to personalities. Public or popular views do not matter. Cases are decided based on evidence led in court and based on established principles of law, including stare decisis. Whatever allegations and tribulations that confront us, these principles must be adhered to. Only if we adhere, adhere to these principle, paramount principles are we worthy of being called judges. Justru, kita hendaklah sentiasa berpegang kepada prinsip-prinsip yang disebutkan tadi kerana itulah yang menentukan atau mencerminkan kejujuran kita dalam menjalankan kewajipan kehakiman dan juga menentukan badan kehakiman terus teguh dan dihormati.